Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Brooke. So, this video, we are going to go through a couple of the bins that I got from the estate sale. Um, I just pulled a couple of them. We'll see how long it takes. I still have um, plenty more. So, I'm going to try to break it up into a couple of videos so they're not too, too long. Um, I apologize for not being able to go live. Um, I really wanted to, but I didn't know that you had to have over a thousand subscribers to go live from your mobile app on your phone. I didn't know that. So um, I'll try to find something in the meantime until we can get up to a thousand. But uh, for right now, we'll just go through these items. Um, so again, thank you everybody. We uh, we over we are over 600 now. Um, welcome. I appreciate everybody being here, and hopefully, we can find some good stuff. I did um, do a little peeking, and I think that there's some good stuff to be found in here. So we're just gonna open up or go with the first 10 here and see a lot of stuff um, does have uh, tags and stuff on it so that looks like a perfume bottle right there um, that's what that is so I'll put um, prices on the screen for what I can find um, Hopefully most of this stuff is in better condition than Goodwill, so we will see, but I'm excited. I'm really excited. So it looks like we have these little screw back rhinestone earrings. So we have a match, that's nice. Very pretty, silver tone. Condition looks good. Um, the backstory with this is an uh, elderly lady um, who is going to move out of state, uh, move in with her daughter uh, so she can enjoy the retirement life. So she used to have a uh, booth at the flea market and um, she was looking to get rid of all of her uh, costume jewelry. So. Uh, saw the ad on Facebook Marketplace and uh, met up with um, a lady that was helping her out and now I have it. So hopefully we can find good homes. I told her I would. So we have these post back earrings. These are clip earrings. Those didn't have any maker marks on them. Um, these are Trafari, and actually they're Crown Trafari, because the crown is on top of the T, so I believe uh, Crown Trafari is a little bit more sought after, uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that. Nice little clip-on earrings there. Another pair of older, these are acrylic plastic clip-on earrings. We have this pin. It is stamped. I think that says Korea. C R E A. 12 karat gold filled disc. I'm not sure. To me, it, it kind of looks like a branch, but it also looks like an A. Maybe. Maybe a branch, but that's pretty. It's in really nice condition. You have this one, looks like it is, I don't know, we'll have to, I'll test it and see. It's not stamped sterling, but it does have this little etching right here. Very pretty, okay. I'm gonna try to keep everything in the bag. So we'll just pull out some bags and see what they say. 
So we have this little pin. I don't see a maker's mark on it, but it does have that uh, AB Aurora Borealis coating on some of those rhinestones. Very pretty. This one, I don't see a maker's mark on it. It's missing some of the rhinestones on it. And these um, look like faux pearls. So, but that one's mine. You have another one. All the rhinestones are there, but there's a lot of yellowing from the glue. This one, it looks like it had a stamp right there, but I, I don't see what it says. There's that one. It's a little pretty heart. The round is a yellow, the rest of them kind of like a clouded clear. It's pretty. We have a V, maybe. Silver tone. This one doesn't look like it had, I'm not, I'm not sure if it's supposed to come like that, but doesn't look like it had a uh, hook on the back of it to secure that pin. Okay, so she has this as a tack pin. It's a very pretty crystal in there. To me, it kind of looks like an earring, but... That one's nice. We have another pin. This one has, I'm not sure if that's somebody playing a music instrument or what that one is, but nice gold tone. This one's pretty neat. So this is a uh, seashell. You got some faux pearls and a little plastic rhinestone, probably handmade. Okay. We have a little, they turn this into, what did they do to this? Oh no, it's two, okay. So we have this pin, it says Taiwan on the back. Cute little flower bouquet. And then you have this cute little elephant, very tiny. I don't see any markings. Okay, not sure what this is. I think it's just all plastic. These might be real shells right here, now that I'm looking at it, but Probably just plastic. We have a little bow pin. It's like a bag of smalls. We have a little etched heart. Gold tone. Most of these are in really good condition. You have a little lamb. No maker's mark. Some loose pearls in there. Another tack pin. Okay. Not sure what these are. They look like little pieces, maybe. Yeah, it look like a clip earring that you can change some of the 
the pieces out, but it looks like there's only one in there. So you have a little button. It's a button. This is a clip earring. That does feel cold. So maybe a piece of, it kind of looks like maybe ceramic or something. All right, I see these little springy bracelets. I think that's all of them. So you got two that have flowers. You got a purple and a blue. And then this one has just a green little bead on the inside. Lots of brooches or pins, brooches, and a little music note. Looks like some of the rhinestones are missing, and I don't see any maker's marks on that one. This right here, I'm not uh, familiar with what they. Maybe is this is just something that you wear together. I'm not sure, like what the orientation is, if it would be side by side or up and down, but either way. And I don't know what this is for either. Is this a bird? And it looks like it has a maker's mark in there, but the gold coating kind of settled into the name so you can't see it, which is weird. I don't know why, why that happens. That's different, so it's like white and black. Again, looks like there was something there. Maybe this was painted afterwards maybe maybe somebody painted it after hmm. it's interesting this looks homemade these are all plastic cute little, that feels like ceramic you need a cute little heart little floral print on it. Got a little shoe. Maybe Cinderella shoe. No maker. Very nice. And this one. Either like that or like that. Silver tone does have some wear on it. All right, what do we got? We have a bracelet. It's a little Noah's Ark bracelet. Looks like it's in really good condition. And it says USA right there. I don't see any other. Nope. No other brand name, so I'll have to look that up and see if I can find anything on that. Weird that it was in with all this stuff. So we have another bracelet. This one is just a triple chain silver tone. And it has a fold over clasp. Like that. A little bit of weight to it, it's not too heavy. Oh, we got a little stick pin. So this one 
it's just a gold tone with a little to me kind of reminds me of like a wreath We have another stick pin. Look at the little flower, gold tone. Very nice. I don't see any maker's marks on it. But very nice. All right, we got a, got a little butterfly here. Very pretty fall colors, greens, and a little bit of orange and yellow. This one says Interpure Taiwan. Have to look that up. This one is a little flower. And it says, oh, let's see, where? This one says ART. It's like a star with ART and then 120 12 gold 12 karat gold filled. Yeah. Yeah, that's an F. So this is gold filled. That's nice. Very pretty. And I'll have to look up um, that name maker's mark and see uh, who that is. I'll put it on the screen. Anything that I find, um, you all know that I put, try to put things on the screen. Okay. So this is neat. Looks like it's articulated. I don't know if it's supposed to be, but it is. So they all move. That's nice. There's the back. Very pretty, nice blue, pretty for summer. Okay, we got another teeny tiny. To me, it kind of looks like a crown. There's the back. Blue rhinestone, okay. I like this, this is pretty, look at the purple. So it's got like a matte finish, it's not shiny at all. Here's the back. So that one's nice. I like that. I like the coloring on that. Okay. We got a teacher pin. There's the back. Looks like it's in good condition. This is cute. Little tennis racket with a faux pearl for the tennis balls by Avon. There's Avon right there. So, it's nice. Look at this one. This one just kind of looks vintage with the back being open like that. Those are just uh, plastic, they're not glass, but they do have some pretty fire to them. I believe they call this a fleur de lis. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I do apologize if it's incorrect. But I do like that little pink stone right there. That's pretty. We got this big. Now, to me, that kind of looks like a strawberry, but it's not red. If anybody knows what this is, please let me know. But it does have, it's got nice weight to it. That one's nice. It's got a little leaf. A little gold tone leaf. We have a silver one that says mom. And is it a U? Maybe it's supposed to go like that. 
and we have a little arrow with some rhinestones on it. Okay, not bad, not bad. Hope everybody is ready for the weekend. I'm glad that today, right now it's Friday and I'm recording this. You all will see it tomorrow. I am ready for the weekend. I'm ready to relax. Let's see, no maker's mark on this one. But that's interesting. I think those are just plastic. Look at this one, this one's pretty. Looks like it's in really good condition. I'm not, maybe, a, is that supposed to be like a flower bouquet? Those, these are all plastic. But it's a shame that they put one way, way down there where you can't see it. That's a interesting on that. Oh, look at this one. Wow, that's pretty neat too. Have to shape it and get it back, but. And it's a pendant or a pin. I like that, that one's, I like, it's unique, you know, you don't see it. I haven't actually seen one. So we have another bow and this has just a acrylic plastic piece hanging and this one which is another Florida de lis you have a blue plastic rhinestone in the center it can also be a pendant or a pin that one's nice okay those are good, like that bag. Okay, what do we got in here? There's some more smalls, it looks like. Look at these. So these kind of, to me, look like Domicene. They have that, you know, black background, but this kind of it's not as, uh, the black isn't as rich as some of the other pieces that we've seen before. It's more of like a charcoal. Um, but that's very pretty. Screw backs, okay. These are pretty. Little pierced earrings. You have a Silver tone with a, I think that's just plastic, crystal. And these cute little triangles, then enamel on them. And these do have something that says patent with a patent number. So I'll have to see if I can find anything on that. You have these cufflinks here. I don't, they say, oh, on the inside, they say foster. Yeah, foster. It's uh, right there. Oh, here's something on the other side. Okay. 1 1 20th 12 karat gold filled patent pending USA. Okay, so that'll be nice. I'll have to look into that some more as well. We have these pretty ones, white and gold. These are just clip, and I don't see no maker's mark on these. 
Oh, those are pretty. Look at that little bird. What way is it supposed to go? I'm assuming that way. So there's screw backs. These are metal. They, they're a little heavy. They do have some weight to them. Really pretty bird design on them. Okay. All right, so let's get in. We got in here, what is this? So these are big, giant, looks like screw bags. They are by Marino, M-A-R-I-N-O. That is new to me. I will have to look that up, but they just look like big hoop earrings that I cannot get out. To me, I thought it was a ring at first, just like a gold ring, but they're earrings. Okay, this bracelet. So it has a safety chain on it, okay. And I don't see, I don't see any makers, any makers marks on it. Very pretty. Nope, no makers mark. Yep, yeah, it's magnetic. So it's just a gold tone. Very nice, feels good on the skin and it does have it does have um, some nice weight to it. It doesn't feel cheap or anything. These just say patent pending. No other maker's marks on them, but they're just a gold tone and they have a little very light floral like etching on them. These are just, you know, little faux pearl, probably just plastic um, with a gunmetal coating on them. We have weird. There's some more clip earrings, like a little mesh pattern on those gold tone. Okay, that's pretty. That looks like copper with like a uh, ceramic painting on top. It's really pretty. Oh, we have a match. Okay. So we have two of those. Even though they look like they're different colors. This looks green. This looks blue. <laughs> okay, those are pretty. Yeah, these big chunky, they say Hong Kong. It's plastic, very pretty. It's kind of like a bubblegum pink. Well, not bubblegum pink. I was thinking like a strawberry raspberry color. More clip-on earrings with this um, must mm, muted down yellow. What we have these are for pierced ears. I don't see any maker's marks on them, but they're gold with off-white enamel. We have some screw backs. These are really pretty gold. These are lightweight, so they kind of feel like plastic, not metal. Okay, some more screw backs, lots of earrings. And these just have a dangle. This just looks like a pearl drop. We have another one. Nice that there's so many matches. Look at this pin. That one's pretty. I like the purple with the blue. Looks like it's missing a couple. Yeah, it's missing a couple of those blue pieces. It looks like it's missing pieces in here too. That's a shame, but I like that one. 
Okay. So we just have some uh, clear plastic with AB coating on them. We have these, what do these say? Just say gold filled. Gold filled 1 20th 12 KT. Okay. That's nice. We're finding some gold filled things. This earring right here. Yeah, we do have a match. Okay. So another clip on earrings. see a match to this one and that one says Napier on the back all right looks like we have precious moments my mom um, had a whole cabinet full of precious moments I actually have some of them I think she still has them to this day she collected them so it's a very pretty, this is a bracelet, and it says, yeah, PM Precious Moments right there. So that's neat. I didn't know that they uh, did jewelry. So very interesting. We have some gold little earrings here. We have an S pendant. No charm sorry it's a charm uh, what do we got here looks like this is broken that's broken I wonder if that goes on that we got this necklace with this very dainty open work Style. I don't see any makers marks on it, but it is very, very dainty. We have a silver tone, just a little tiny bracelet, chain bracelet. Yep. And let's see, what is this? Okay, so we have, i start putting some of these pieces back in so we can see what we got going on here. Okay, so this is a gold tone, very pretty, very shiny necklace. Has these two little pieces right here. And to me, I wonder yeah, okay, so this is an adjustable necklace. So you pull, you can pull to adjust it however short or long you would like to wear it. So that's very pretty, there we go, okay. So if you want it longer, you would just wear this. There you go, okay. And then it turns into a single chain. Yep, that's neat. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. So very pretty. It's in excellent condition. Oh, let's see. We have a little sand dollar charm. And there's that earring. I wonder, do we have that? wonder if that goes... no, I don't think so. Okay, well that's that then. So, let's put everything back. Okay, let's move this over here. 
Russell Stover. Be nice if there was chocolates in here too. Okay, wow. So we have a Southwestern inspired necklace here. So it's a silver tone chain. Yeah. It's magnetic. Okay. Put that over there. Let's see what we want. This one is Jill Jacobson. Okay. I'll have to look that up. I haven't heard of that one either. But very pretty, nice pendant. It is picking up. So, it's just silver tone, but that's very pretty. I do like that. Looks like it's in good condition. I don't see much wear at all on it. Uh, let's see, how can I get that? All right, this one. So it looks like you have a little angel. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. Probably not, there we go. So maybe Cupid, a little angel. I like the chain because it has these little glass uh, dangles hanging off. Has a barrel clasp. Oh, let's see, is it work or is it stuck? I don't know, it might be stuck. I'll, I'll see if I can get it to loosen up. Yeah, she has Cupid on here. Can't open. Hmm. Yeah, I'll see if I can uh, play around with that, but I don't want to break it because it's so pretty. So that one's nice. And then this one looks like a big multi-chain. I think she just tied them all together. Yeah, I'll take that off. Okay, so these are all tangled together. There we go. So multiple gold chains. You have some that are flat and then some that are twisted. It's like that all the way down, very nice. Gives it some nice movement. Has a spring ring and it says, One twentieth, twelve karat gold filled. So that's nice, very nice. Lots of gold filled pieces in here, which is very interesting. So that was a nice little, nice little box there. Okay. Uh, the lady did say that she believed this to be. Um, older and um, said that it may be celluloid. Uh, I'm not familiar with any of that, so that's something that I do have to work on. But it looks like we have some more clip on earrings, and those are very pretty. They have AB finish on the rhinestones right there, lots of sparkle on those. Those are definitely a statement for sure. These, or this one, this one says Coro. So those are very pretty, very nice for spring and summer. Very pretty pink. These are Sarah Coventry. They have a little faux pearl the gold back on them. They look like they are in great condition. We have this one. Has some blue enamel on it. 
I don't see any maker's marks on these, but interesting. We have Trafari, and that has the crown on top. So these are just gold tone, kind of look like little cactus, um, or what are the sea urchins. Now they're like spiny. That's what I would say they look like. Have another floral set. I do not see any markings on these. And these are really pretty too. I like the blue with the pink. And these are screw bags. Okay, very nice. Nice to have matches. And nice to have some name brands. Okay. And we'll open this box right here. So this. It has that scroll on the back, so it kind of reminds me of like 1928. I believe that is what they are known for. Um, I have heard some talk about that before, but those are faux pearls. You have plastic. That might be glass. And then faux pearls. All the way up to 1928. So there looks like maybe some glue that's on the tag right there. But... This is very pretty. I love that purple stone. Very nice color. Yeah, these are cold, so these are glass. That's very nice. It just looks pretty in the box by itself. Uh, let's see. What are we at? 42 minutes? Um, yeah, everything. I think I'm going to cut it off here. Let's see. Um, yeah, I'm just going to cut it off here and we'll get some more uh, bins and boxes up. Uh, thank you all for being here. Um, I appreciate it. If there's anything that you saw in, um, in this video that you would like, please send me an email. I will leave my email um, in the comments, in the description. And also, I'll put the uh, my email on here as well. Um, we have, uh, I actually was able to get a Shop Goodwill lot, finally. So, we have that coming up. And um, stay tuned for the next video. Uh, probably do another one because I want to dig through this stuff and get it out to everybody to see. So, I hope you all have a good weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good night. Bye.